All right, it's time to finally go back in that basin and have the big showdown. Start the beginnings of the final battle, more or less. We'll see how it goes. You know what? Someone suggested taking people back to their original costumes. And I think that might actually be time to do that. I spent a long time screwing around with costumes to sort of add variety to the gameplay. But I, we also know that the game has animated cutscenes. So, while we've been doing the open world, it's kind of fun, but I think we're closing in on the finale. Not that not this is it, but we're getting close, I think. So before we get to the end of the game, I should probably have people in their default costumes so that they're not weirdly contradicting the uh, cutscenes and stuff like that, the way that they currently do with the skits, but I don't care as much about the skits. But let's get back to the uh, starting point with these characters. There we go. I kind of forget what some of these characters looked like. Is that really what she was wearing? Is that her- was that her hair? Oh, right. There it is, the ponytail. I, I recognize it now. When I was forward, I didn't recognize it at first. Yeah, she's been like this the whole t for a while now, right? Yeah. Some of these characters are just a simple color change. Boom! That's really all that it was. Some of them were alt colors, some of them were more advanced, like Edna. We haven't seen Saray's garb in a while, but yeah. Last time we went to war, it showed a cutscene of him wearing this stuff, so it makes sense to go back into it if we're gonna go back to what's almost the same war again. Uh, people have pointed out, and I did some research about it, I tried to, uh... We're c we, in, in that flashback we did with Mikleo and Sore, we showed their parentage. And there's a really confusing timeline going on here, because at the beginning of the game, it seems to imply that the age of, of uh, not Calamity, the age of doom? The age of badness? The age of, this ain't so good. I don't know, the, <laughs> the age we're in, I think they infer that it's been around for 200 years, and they even seem to imply that the last Seraph, not Seraph, the last Shepherd was 200 years ago. But then we get the flashback, and the, we have, the Age of Calamity hasn't started yet because Heldolf's not even a Hellion yet, and we see the last Shepherd curse Heldolf to become the Hellion he is, and that Shepherd more or less created the Age of Calamity. It's like, okay, that makes sense. It all checks out so far. So that's what happened 200 years ago, right? But then at the end, it's like, oh yeah, by the way, that's that's Sore and Miklio as babies. And then that's where it gets confusing, because as some people will point out, Miklio is a Seraph, so maybe he could survive longer and be around for 200 years, even in, and still even be a kid, because of how, you know, like, like how uh, in Disgaea, people are like 300 years old and stuff like that, even though they're like tiny little Usalia babies. But, uh... Then you have the issue of that Sore is there, and Sore sure seems to be a human, and a young human at that. The Wikipedia page for Sore says that he's 17 years old, so that would mean that the age, the the Lord of Calamity became the Lord of Calamity like 17 years ago, right? Not 200 years ago? The timeline gets weird. Other people, not these, uh, not in my comments, but in the suggest in the uh, research I was looking into, are suggesting that this game may have had a troubled development cycle and may have had splits in the writing and had like rewriting along the way and like they may have changed chunks of the story without fully checking against everything else. So it may have contradictions built into the story because of a problematic development cycle.
Lila, what is that? Oh no, it has been born. <sighs> oh yeah, the animated scenes are absolutely back. Oh, hello. Why do you open? Black talismans. I thought I grabbed it before. Oh well. So, giant monster shows up. We're gonna want to get out there. It's funny, I don't think I fully realized until that cutscene. Dragon! Holy crap, there's a dragon! I don't think I had fully recognized until that cutscene that the, uh, the lizard men... So they can all see it. Yeah, it's fully materialized. Well, this is gonna be our first full dragon fight, I think. They're all... dead. But I don't think we've recognized... Oh, here we go. Surely this is fate. I don't think we've recognized before that the, uh... What do we- let's- yep. probably want to switch to Saray. Also, there's camera height. RB plus down. Oh, this could be handy. Oh. Wow, that's been here this whole time. I probably recognized that it was there at the very, very beginning. This is another comment pointing this out. I probably noticed this really early on, but then kind of dismissed it, thinking that it- I probably- I mean, I probably messed with that control in like the, one of the first episodes, but then never went back to it. That's handy. This could- this could absolutely help some of the camera issues I've had of not being able to see what the fuck's going on sometimes. So we're gonna- we're gonna wanna melee these guys. I don't think I recognize this before, but the, uh... The armies, the two separate armies fighting each other manifest themselves as lizards and... as tigers, which may, which I- I recognize the lizard soldiers a lot because we saw them a lot in the last half of the game, but... Yeah, in the first half of the game, I would randomly walk around that town in Highland and I would just see tigers around... And I don't think I fully re re uh, recognize that the, the two are split. Be like, that's Hellions manifesting the two army types. Interesting. I'm dead, pack some powerful arts, bro. They can also warp, so keep an eye on them. I'm trying to wail on this guy for a bit. It's supposed to be weak, oh, weak against fire, right. Um, you're with water, you're- oh yeah, there's Layla. Here we go. Look how well we can see all of a sudden. This is weird. <laughs> wow, I could have been doing this the whole time. It's amazing how you can have so much situational awareness of how many enemies are in the area <laughs> and where they're attacking from. It's a little less exciting because it's further away, I'm sure, but which is like the Pillars of Eternity thing, like when you, if you zoom too far away, suddenly it's like these are just little chess people fighting each other and with, that, with very little sense of significance to it. Whereas a close-up Bloodborne camera makes things feel really important, but there's definitely moments where you're like, I sure wish I could see better. Ow. Did not expect that spell to come out of him. That's the Layla spell. There we go. There's definitely the mix-up between the fact that they're, uh, they're strong against my armatization, but they're weak against the fire. And the physical, kind of. So mixing fire and physical, which sounds like good news, but also they they specifically have a benefit against me. So when they're standing around, I'm actually can just wail on them a lot. But whenever they start a spell, I'm in trouble because everyone, every all of my attacks are actually making their their spell cast faster instead of interrupting it. In those moments, I should probably switch out into just being uh, Rose Fusion. Wow, we're still getting those. I haven't had one of these in a while. Talent. Fusion. This talent allows you to save up fusion points, which in turn let you fuse two pieces of equipment of the same name into one new one. This is the same procedure as the fusion you can perform in shops. This fusion can be performed for free, zero gold, but the more valuable the items, the more fusion points you need to fuse them. Weird. So, oh, talent, right, they're talking about fusion as it already exists, but the fact that apparently a specific character can know how to do it. We could have avoided all of this! So this is referring to the fact that apparently when you take out a dragon, uh, when a dragon is fully formed, it, it becomes a manifested can thing that everyone can see. If we can't, there's no one that can save it. <sighs> one thing we can say is that if we can defeat this thing, uh, we can probably go after Edna's brother. We can probably take out him too, if we're taking down dragons in this poison story. Friggin' huge! Yeah. Sere, over there. Uh, yeah. So, this is what it's like to be. Yeah. 
You can't give up! Stand up! What on earth is going on? Saray is back there fighting it. A dragon. I was just starting to think that we would never see that, uh... Wow, re lots of resistances there. I was starting to think that we might never see our, uh... Mercenary friend again. Looks like I'm gonna want to have Dezel. Now, blah, 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 blah. Not Dezel. Other friend in this fight. Let's see. Let's go ahead and switch to... That character. And that goes for both of us, too! You got it! I don't intend to die here! How many hit points, by the way? 75,000. Already down by 5,000. <laughs> That's a good start, I guess. Oh yeah, love. Oh wow. Wow. Oh, okay, he's 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 scary too. Just I was starting to think that he's gonna go down that fast. I was starting to be concerned, frankly. Is that gonna be a slam? That is a slam attack. I was ready for, I was I was expecting it, but I was already in the air, so I couldn't get out of it at that point. No, no get out! Oh, that's a you can't just back away from it, or at least not that far. That distance is enough. Tough old lizard. It's feasting on the malevolence generated by the human's fear. Sounds, uh, tasty? So even the power of the Shepherd... is not enough? It's a genuine miracle they're even standing! How can he fight like that? He's the Shepherd. No, that's not it. It's just who he is. Release my spirit! That was a cool moment, but wrong character. There we go. So how low is he did? Oh, his health reset? That's a bummer. Because we did like 15,000 damage to him in that fast. That was really... That was some quick progress back there. Uh oh, dodge! No, I got stuck in my attack animation. By the way, someone was suggesting what was probably true is that uh, in that last encounter, I couldn't, I probably couldn't. Uh, oh shit! Rude. I probably wasn't able to armatize as. Uh, what is he doing? I probably wasn't able to armatize before because I was playing as Alicia and she sucks at this whole shepherding thing. <laughs> Get out of there! Oh. Like, because of what we established before in the story, like, she probably can armatize. I didn't think about it until then, but I don't think I remember her armatizing. God! Okay, I'm getting really annoyed by the fact that my attack goes up in the air. Get out of there! Quick heal. Let's try pressing... Nope! No, no, no! Get out! Yeah. I'm trying not to get hit by that. It's not going great. Yeah, the part where I go up in the air is really problematic for me. There we go. That's far enough away, apparently. Is there an attack? Is there an attack pattern that doesn't bludgeon them in the face? <laughs> Ow! Oh shit, the tail. That's not good. I forgot about the tail. That's problematic for me. Alright. Um. No, no, split up. There we go. No, I didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. There we go. Uh, switch to Mikleo. Oh, is he chasing Mikleo specifically? 
<laughs> I'm trying to back up and make the party a little healthier. Is that... I was starting to wonder if that spell was ever going to finish. What is he doing right now? I don't want to be... Oh, God. No. Bad. Back away. There we go. I'm having a lot of trouble getting my spells off because of the paralysis. paralysis. Nope. Nasty. Get out of here. Oh, is he going to stop me? Nope. Not quite in the range problem. Let's get our SC back real quick. I'm going to try to heal up Saray here. There we go. Just trying to maintain health for a little while. This fight was easier earlier, wasn't it? Alright, he's down 20k. Yeah, the health management's becoming a bit of an issue. Thankfully, he's very slow. He's far from overwhelming with his attacks so far. So I can mostly heal people up whenever I want to. Let's get Soray healthy. There we go. The down, the problem right now is that uh, our dark one character he's that he, that he isn't strong against is knocked out. So I'm kind of waiting for him to get back. Oh, he's back now. I'll be using him in a moment then. And they're taking damage just fast enough to nullify the whole process of me trying to heal everyone. Oh shit! I'm out of uh, BG. Yeah, I can't, I can't even really recharge that. All right, let's do some chain attacks. Well, crap. I can't do this much longer. Rose! Saray! We will fight at your side! Who's afraid of a dragon? Just a big old lizard! <sighs> Suddenly things aren't looking so bad. Yeah! We still got a chance! Let's do this! From a storytelling perspective, that's actually really good news because that means that they're getting won over and they're seeing hope in the situation, which means that they're hopefully no longer going to be feeding the malevolence that's making him so powerful. This... Oh, is an item being... Is that a skill that's being used? It said Grilled Sweetfish, and for a second I thought that was his name. Alright, so who am I controlling right now? I'm controlling Miklio. They keep resetting my controls, which is awkward for a squad-based party thing. Huh. Oh well. Should I get that BG up real quick? There we go, we're almost there. Just a second. Oh shit, now, now Saray's running out of it. Get away from his tail. Tails are bad in dragon fights. Oh shit, he is. That was. That hitbox was a little questionable. Aha! I dodged by armatizing. Get out of there! Aha! I'm behind you! Let's not be that- let's not be there either. Get out of there! Ow. Yep. Aha! The secret is to press dodge a lot. Like, too much. Like, a weird amount of times. Yeah, he's- he's clawing really slowly over and over again, isn't he? Alright. I can definitely add up the damage really fast. Just be careful not to be in his tail. Uh-oh. That's not good. Get dodge out of that. Damn. There we go. Oh, no. No, no, no. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh. Damn you, airborne attacks. His number one weakness just had to be the element that involves a lot of aerial attacks, meaning I can't dodge or cancel animations. Get away from his tail. Shit. Get away from his face. <laughs> Must avoid both parts of, fo of buddy. Get his SC back real quick. I'm trying to avoid his front and his tail while also trying to be on the opposite side from from Rose so he's less likely to attack us both at the same time. Dodge backwards? Ah. Yeah, that uh, that aerial attack is uh, infuriating, actually. Um, Which one is that? It's probably... Upward kick. Spreads the blades and the caster black and... Like wings in the air showing... Yeah. So just press a direction, probably. Dark star. Is there an anti-dragon ability in here? Do 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 anti dragon dragon blitz. So pressing B twice. But then after pressing it twice, I should press the direction to do like Dark Star. 
Mercilessly shedding any ca uh, caught in... Oh yeah, that's the charge attack. That's better. Probably. Razor Vortex releases an explosion of wild man, man in the air, creating a vortex of shearing wind. So left and right does that. Alright, I should do two B attacks followed by right, probably. Because I do need... I do want to trigger the anti-dragon skill. Nope, Razor Vortex is also bad. <laughs> oh, what did I just do? Why, why was I immediately in the air? Weird. Let's back up a second. A little health. A little bit of health. Oh, I was dodging is why. The dodge is what screwed me up. There we go. Yeah, really, really all the third hits are uh, bad for being able to cancel. Whoa, that's a new one. I should probably just hit him twice and then move on. Yeah, that's probably a reasonable thing to do. He's about to fireball. Oh, never mind. There we go. Dodge out! There we go. That's my anti-dragon ability. Dodge fireballs! There we go. Yep, that's the anti-dragon attack. And if I don't combo, I'll be able to dodge better. Yeah, and every, single, every time I do that, that's like a thousand damage. Which in itself means it's like a 75th of his hit points. Trying to paralyze me. Oh. Damn you, Perilous. Paralysis. Sis, 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 sis. Oh, god damn it. That's frustrating. No, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's all, that's all around bad news. Quick heal. Well, he does this. Is he doing, he's doing the fire spell, right? Calamity of fire, yeah. Oh, he is pretty much dead now. Stack it all up. Oh yeah, he's he's in trouble now. Just be very careful about a surprise tail attack or something. Thank you for the interrupt. Get out of there! Get out of there! No, 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 no! Ah! I was trying so hard to get out of there way before it actually hit me. The inability to interrupt an animations is, is kind of infuriating sometimes. Get out! Alright, we're good. Just do a quick heal. Back away a little bit. Oh yeah, he's trying to stun. Everyone feel better now. There we go. Uh oh. No, 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 no. I don't want to be here right now. Oh, that's not good. Did I win? Hell yeah! Go on. Do it, Saray.
I'd say that Heldolf overreached his bounds. He made the mistake of sending in attackers who, uh, he escalated, see, he was slowly making everything worse and destroying everything, but then he made something so calamitous and so large that it literally manifested itself into a physical monster that everyone could see. And at that point, you've got your moment, that's your turning point, that's where you've really screwed up, because now you can't be secretly manipulating things anymore, because now everyone's seen what you're up to. And now it's probably the beginning of the end for him. The malevolence, it's vanished. Yeah. Well, that was my exercise for the year. Yeah. But we made a difference. Let's treat ourselves to a break. How about our old hideout? Whew. I'm exhausted as well. No surprise. We took down a dragon. <sighs> we managed to stave off the worst somehow. Let's just be grateful that we're alive, yeah? There's the smallest hint of nostalgia, right? Go back to our hideout. I don't think I've set foot in the hideout since we left it when we first got Rose. Didn't have a lot of reason to head back, necessarily. The closest suggestion was that there was a hint of like, hey, if you check the map, maybe it'll tell you where those elemental shrines are. But largely got by without it. So much for a hideout, right? I guess it, it at least provided an in-world uh, explanation of where all of Rose's allies are hanging out that are supposed to be all secretive and all that. Let's have a much-deserved save. Alright, first dragon's down. I don't know where the story's gonna go next, necessarily, but I... I'll probably try to go after Edna's brother if I can. Because, uh... At this point, I've, I've taken down a dragon. They would supposedly be in comparable power, but who, I don't have much to go on for that. Hello. Long time no see, square-shaped ruins. Such an innocent face. Asleep or awake. <sighs> no need to worry. Saray's got it together. Yes, I know, but... He's almost two together, huh? Sounds like something a mother would say. Can it be sister, at least? Although I am far older. All right, sister. We ought to rest up, too. Yes. I'll just tuck both of them in. Morning. Not even. You've been sleeping for three days straight. You're kidding! I was wondering why I was so famished. Let's go get something to eat. Indeed, Saray woke up just before you did. After we're done, let's head on over to Lastenbell. I gotta check on how everything wound up. Sheesh, workaholic much? Though I guess I shouldn't talk. Aren't you curious? Well... Yeah. If anyone's warmongering, I got some killing to do. Maybe we should leave her here. <laughs> She sure was excited about all that sweet, sweet murder. Looks like this war has uh, ended before it started. Damn straight. I knew they'd come to their senses. There's enough problems in the world already without deliberately adding to them. Alright. We went and resolved a war. Sweet. Next stop's going to be Lastenbell then. I'll probably spend the rest of the playthrough using the default costume since the closer we get to the climax and the finale and stuff like that, the more likely we are to encounter Probably multiple cutscenes that are animated and only will... Saray, look! Alicia and Lucas! You know, like, the, if we contradict the, uh, main... If we co contradict these main costumes, then the, uh... That'll make the animated scenes a little bit more immersion-breaking. 
Although I will miss Edna's over-the-top purple dress because the alternative is the alternative is kind of a uh, sleeping gown, whatever that is. Lila, those dragons used to be Seraphim, right? Yes, they were likely Seraphim of considerable power. Most likely, he captured them and shut them away in an area where malevolence is likely to gather, like a battlefield, for example. As a sacrifice. <sighs> A battlefield is like a microcosm of our world. All kinds of emotions spiral and whirl about in a place like that. You mean like fear and hatred? The kind of emotions that would beget dragons? Those aren't the only ones. There's also bravery. The bravery needed to stand up against the dragons. And that's something you invoked. Then I can't give up yet. Not as long as there's still hope. I'll just have to believe. Both in Sergei and in the world that humans live in. Indeed. And we will believe in you. So what are you guys doing down here? As a messenger of the Kingdom of Highland, I am here to discuss terms of a truce. I would like to meet with a representative of the Rolands Imperial Army. We honestly wish we could allow you to pass, but Highland and Rolands are still officially at war. This is a decision that has to be made at the top. I'm afraid as mere rank and file, we, uh... Alicia! Lucas! Saray! <laughs> I knew you were alive! You're meeting with Rollins? I hope. It seemed like this might be the last chance for diplomacy. A Highland princess wandering all the way here with no escort? You're a trooper. What do you mean? She's got the best guard in the world. If there's a chance we can stop the war, it's a small price to pay. But we're running into some, uh, jurisdictional issues. Shepard? You're with the Platinum Knights, right? Do you think you could contact Sergei for us? Tell him that Saray's friend, Alicia, has come to visit. If it's a meeting between friends, then the Knights have no need to interfere. I'm sorry my subordinates couldn't be more flexible with you. Not their fault. I hear they work under a very rigid captain. <laughs> you caught me there. So you're Alicia. I am Sergei, a friend of Saray. Well met. I'm Alicia. My sincere thanks for helping us the other day. Not at all. Would you like to join me for some tea? Certainly. I'm thankful for this opportunity. We won't let it go to waste. Damn peaceniks. Putting good mercenaries out of jobs. This calls for booze. What do you say, Shepard? Yeah, alcohol's probably a better solution after that big war celebration than tea. I don't even drink. Alright, let's go meet up with an old friend. I haven't seen him since that village with the tree and the weird wolf heads. I don't remember what- Marland? I was literally about to say I don't remember what it's called and then immediately set, had the name Marland come to mind. Go to Sanctuary to, to check on Alicia and Sergey. But what about the inn? If I go rest at the inn, then we can have drinks, right? Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Someone was talking about the fact that I only picked the cheapest one each time. Uh, there's not, there's no particularly good reason either. I just, <laughs> I've just been picking the cheapest one, as if I'm, as if I'm afraid of wasting money when I have 250, 235,000 gold, and this is one five hundredth of that, basically. Also, buns are great. I never thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. You should. Ignorance is a crime, you know. So, don't you think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well, they say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. Yeah, I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not. They're agreeing. They're they're agree arguing. Agree 
Don't worry about it. Don't worry, we'll tell you about it when you're older, Mikleo. And also when I understand it. Alright, that was not a skit with the, uh, mercenary captain. Now they're just trying to disappoint me. Alright, let's go check on Alicia and Sergei. I'd like to follow up on the closure of the battle, at least, before stopping the episode or anything. No skit. I feel like I always have to stop. Oh, there you are. You lied to me. Princess Lady and Mr. Knight are inside the sanctuary. What do you mean I'm not drunk? Didn't we have a... We had a... Yeah, there it is. Hello, golden chest. Drop bottle. I guess they're making me backtrack through previous areas a little bit, so I'm more likely to encounter some of the chests that I didn't have the keys to before. That's convenient enough. Alright, that should do it for now. Yes, thank you for all your help. Ah, it's over already? The first meet and greet. I've received an invitation to Pendrago Castle. By yourself? In exchange, His Imperial Majesty of Rolands will allow me to meet for direct negotiations. Not bad for a bottom-rung princess, huh? We are comrades who battled the dragon together. The Empire will have the decency to acknowledge that. Neat. Guess the peace talks are in good hands. And here I thought the war would be dragging on and on. Oh no, that was a pretty good one! I'm jealous! Is it a competition? Saray, would you be interested in coming to Pendrago with us? You're a key figure in bringing our two nations together. Thanks. But that's a dream that you should be the one to fulfill. I suppose. Best to you on your journey. You too, Alicia. Sergey. Not to mention our plastered buddy out there. They say the peace talks are in good hands, and hopefully they are. Those are the two most trustworthy, optimistic, virtuous characters on both sides of the war that we've met so far. Oh. I've prepared some gel. It's a little later than it was earlier, isn't it? I think. But uh, the problem is we haven't really met a lot of people that are above them that we really feel like we can trust. So that's a little bit more worrying. Hey, Saray. Happy beer is best beer. Woo! Alright, Lucas. You have your fun. Oh, getting ready to leave Lasten Bell, huh? All right. Oh, hello. Boy, he didn't waste any time turning her down. Right there in front of him, the perfect date. No wonder girls don't dig shepherds. Well, what can you do? Yes, we're talking about Saray after all. Seriously. <laughs> there you have it. Uh, they're going after Saray for missing his chance to go around with Alicia for a while. I think that seems to indicate Rose isn't super interested. I hear they're actually making progress with the peace talks. That Princess Alicia is a godsend. She sure is. If only a certain layabout would follow her example. My doggy's happy too. She hates war. You and me both, puppy. You and me both. Hey, bud. You up for a drink? Anything to get out of this armor. <laughs> Our departure can wait a day. Huh? But... Ah, oh, so sleepy all of a sudden. Oh, my back. I gotta lie down. Get us a nice room. Come on. Wait, where did Blue Guy come from? I thought Alicia came here with no guard. They're infiltrating. It's a trap! Thanks, Lila, for hanging out with me. Don't mention it. I was thinking of coming up here and watching the city anyway. So this is where Saray's guidance has led us. Indeed, I'm sure he is doing much the same. 
watching them and thinking about how far we've come. Adnan Zavid too. After our long journey with the shepherd, I imagine they're using this time to reflect on their past and perhaps their future. <laughs> kind of like us, huh? Well, well, Edna coming to see me? Should I be scanning the skies for pigs? I want you to tell me, why were you killing Hellions? <laughs> Where'd this come from? And why now? Is it to save them? Did you make up your mind that it's something you have to do in order to save them, like Saray did? Oh, I get it. You still haven't quite wrapped your head around the idea of death as a form of salvation. And so every time you put it into words, it's been to convince yourself. Edna is a smart woman. I imagine right now she's busy sorting out her feelings before we face our final battle. No doubt she's consulting Zavid for guidance. He's seen more of the world than any of us, the good and the bad. You're really a good study of people. You should have been a school teacher. <laughs> But Rose, you had something you wanted to ask me, didn't you? <sighs> when the dragon appeared, Saray found his answer right then and there, didn't he? It was that he didn't want that battlefield to see any further killing or bloodshed. Yes. And then he immediately took the actions he deemed necessary in order to achieve that. Time flows differently for people with a vision, or so it seems to the rest of us sometimes. He's incredible. Wow, look at all those stars. Yeah. I forget who said it, that there are as many emotions as stars in the sky. I can totally see that. A metaphor for how each emotion sparkles in its own way, huh? Must have been a romantic who came up with that one. But you can also sense his insecurities about that, can't you, Rose? Like he's constantly on edge, worrying that if he let his guard down even a little bit, he'd lose his way again. I think Saray himself might be the only one who doesn't see that. I mean, you know how little it takes for a taut string to go snap, right? Are you worried? Hmm, not worried, really. Whatever happens, whatever the future brings, I hope I can make it work somehow. No, I know I can. <laughs> so that's your answer. I guess so. But I've always been like this ever since I was a kid. I'm starting to understand why you don't generate any malevolence. So I want everyone not to worry and to just go do what they need to do. Pow! But I don't mean like, see ya, have fun, I'll be over here. I promise I'm with the rest of you guys for the long haul. <laughs> Don't you think it would be better to tell that to everyone, not just me? After all, I'm sure Edna and Zavid would take no small amount of inspiration from it. Huh, I don't know, it'd be weird to walk up to them and be like, I am here, we are friends. Probably true. Sheesh, you women folks sure are complicated. But then, that's part of the appeal. Uh, are you just stupid? Yep, big old stupid Ed. The type who can't do anything but believe in the one way he's found to get stuff done. What makes you believe in it?
I just have a need to protect the pride of my friends and fellow Seraphim. No one becomes a Hellion because they want to. But when you turn into one, you know what that means, right? So that's why I end it for them, for the sake of their pride. <laughs> and you think that saves them? Who knows? That's something they get to ponder after death, in their own personal afterlife. Huh. How gallant of you. So that must be what makes you so... Attractive? <laughs> Ow! Hey! Knock it off! Don't you all have one more thing you need to brace yourselves for? It'll depend on what Saray does with Maltellus after we take down Haldolf. But you know what? That's alright. I'm prepared. No matter what he decides, I'm willing to accept it. Gotta say, I think your resolve wins out over mine. I don't even know if I could do that. Just look on silently while one of our own suffers in agony. Well, I wouldn't worry too much about that. We're all in this together till the very end. <laughs> so, if Savid's quivering in fear, you'll be there to give him a gentle hug, right? Gross. <laughs> well, if my saying something is enough to cheer those two up, it might be worth it after all. It's enough to have someone to lend you a kind word. After all, that's what friends and comrades are for. But Rose, if you don't mind, may I ask what prompted you to bring all this up? thought you and I might have sort of been thinking about stuff along the same lines. I just wanted to tell you, you don't have to carry it all by yourself. Uh, huh? What? Did I say something funny? Uh, uh, huh? <gasps> the two of us really are more alike than we realize. We commit to things. We decide on what role we're gonna play without really consulting with anyone else. Oh, now that you mention it... So that's why I felt like we might be sharing the same thoughts. We're the same! Independent women! <laughs> Rose, I must thank you. I feel like a great load has been taken off my mind. Really? Hey! Cool beans! I'm profoundly grateful to whatever twist of fate brought us together. You really are a drama queen, Lila. Aw, Rose! <laughs> Alright, come on. We got some friends to go cheer up. <laughs> There's something I learned from this journey. Some stars you can't see, and because you can't see them, you think they're not shining. But they are. It turned out that there were a lot of stars that we couldn't see from our home in Elysia. Once people notice the stars, they start to understand just how brilliantly they shine. Just like how Alicia finally got a sense of what Seraphim were truly like the first time she heard your voices. <laughs> that was a trip. <laughs> you should have seen your face. <laughs> I was really excited back then. It gave me hope that one day other humans might be able to talk to the Seraphim. But even then, you had to cut off your senses and hold your... Oh, I see. You were actually contemplating what you'll do after the last battle. Yeah. If I let myself become a vessel, 
for Martellus and shut off all my senses, we might be able to spread that power throughout the entire continent of Glenwood. If it works, and that's a big if, the Squire ought to be able to wield power like mine, even if she doesn't possess natural ability on par with a shepherd. So long as you entrusted all of your senses to the Squire, it's not out of the question. And we might be able to grow the ranks of Squires who could help us. Just think of Alicia. It's arguably a more constructive approach than just waiting for another Shepherd to appear. Exactly. But you understand the implications, don't you? Yeah. Until the Squires can quell enough of the Earth's malevolence to let Mautelis' natural purification take over, I would need to wait and sleep. By bonding with Mautelis, you'll be abandoned in time. It could take years. It could take centuries. And even if humans appear who can see and talk to Seraphim, there's no guarantee they'll choose the path of coexistence. I believe in them. What about your dream? Weren't you going to go off exploring ruins around the world? My dream will live on, so long as I don't forget. <sighs> Very well. Thank you, Miklio. Typically stupid. It's not so much that guys are stupid. It's just that the ladies are too smart. What's that? Your philosophy? Huh. Looks like the gang's all here. I suppose you were all listening to us then? Yes. I may not be Edna, but you really are. Totally stupid. stupid. Let's head out. Huh? We're not waiting till morning? No farewells to Alicia or anyone? I'd like to set out under these stars tonight. So that every time I gaze up at the night sky, I can remember this very day. Guess we've got our own romantic right here. You think so? So what's up? Are we going? Yeah. To the last battle. Yeah. All right then. No doubts, no regrets. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Well, if I wasn't cemented on the idea that we're coming up on our finale already, it's definitely coming up now. Head to Elysia in search of Kamlan. So our next goal is Elysia. I might make a few stops before then. I think I'm, I'm obviously going to cut it here. It's been going on for a little while now. Uh, I hope we can start the skit. You're not worried about Elysia and the others? Not at all. Sergei and Lucas are with her. Our next destination is Elysia. Yeah. There should be a passage that leads to Camlon where Maltellus is waiting. What are we going to tell Gramps? Let's just not tell him. <sighs> Saray, there's no need. It's not like we'll never see him again. You're right. Let's do this. All right. So we're definitely wrapping up to the big finale. Not necessarily next episode, especially if I take some detours along the way. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching like always. It is already not nighttime. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.